Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Tool Show with me, Master Dan, the Journeyman Shooter. And it's another beautiful morning here, and I'm in Inglewood, Inglewood's finest shoes I'm wearing, so uh, I figured why not do a quick little segment. And they're li lifting a bridge not too far from here, so I wanted to go check that out. It's a pretty cool little thing to see, I guess. And what did I want to talk about this morning? Well, in shooting, there is a special thing that's called a groove. And in life, you want to have a groove as well because you want to get your groove back and you want to keep your groove going. You don't want to lose your groove because if you lose your groove, then it's not going to be that great of a life. You're, you're going to be kind of a little bit out there. Now, in shooting though, a groove actually helps, it assists, it makes things go farther and it makes them go straighter. Now, inside of your barrel is where you want that groove, especially if you want it to go farther and you want it to go straighter, you want to have a nice groove on your barrel, which is pretty cool because that's, I don't know, it helps your bullets go farther and straighter, so <laughs> why not? But, but this was actually kind of come across by accident, especially in the olden days when gunsmiths were kind of trying to perfect the musket ball and all the other stuff, they needed a spot for that gas and all the explosion inside to expand so to actually have a spot to expand one of the guys he put a tap through there and made a little like a, it's basically a groove that goes all the way spiraling around the whole uh, the whole inside of the barrel and then he found that that actually made the bullet go farther and it made it go faster and it just kind of it was a lot more accurate because it actually hit the target especially if it's going farther and it's going faster it's gonna hit that target a little bit easier and Mmm, uh, that's, uh, that's a good one today. It's a coconut mocha. It's one of the really good ones and I think it's mixed with a little bit of caramel drizzle from the actual uh, coffee maker still kind of left over there, but that's kind of one of the things that I was just wanted to talk about was my coffee. No, I'm just kidding. I'm back to the groove situation though, because you want to keep your groove and you want to make sure that you're going farther and faster. And so this one black gunsmith, he decided that, hey, I'm going to be able to put this groove in there and he found out it went farther. It's just like the bow and arrow, especially the farther back you pull on that bow and the more power you put behind it, the, the when you release it, it's going to go farther and it's going to go faster and straighter and it's going to hit that target probably dead on in the center where you want it to because that's why a lot of the people when you get calm compound bows they go faster farther harder and they're just more accurate it's not like one of the recurves but I like a recurve bow because that's just kind of my own thing not to get on to your guys thing but actually target shooting is an amazing thing that was my first job ever was at a gun club and I kind of learned a lot about that skeet shooting trap shooting all the other fun stuff that you can do with that it's actually a really good sport and especially yeah it's trap shooting it's I pretty sure it's still an Olympic sport but there's a lot of different shooting gallery things that are in the Olympics and you can make something of yourself just by kind of and you don't have to kill animals or do anything like that. I knew a lot of guys that were totally against that. And But working at a gun club, uh, you did get a lot of animals brought in there and wild game dinners, and you get to try one of everything, which is pretty neat. So I think I've tried a little bit of all the meats of the world almost right now, So, which is pretty cool because my dad always liked that. He said it's a unique thing, so you want to try different things. And But that's kind of getting me way off my subject here, but uh, I'm talking about my groove. So what else about the groove? Uh, they found that it fired farther, straighter, more accurate. There's a lot of different things that went with that groove but one other thing about that groove is you can use it as a general thing for your life you want to have that groove uh, there's a famous movie and it's I don't want to get into it because I really am not promoting any kind of famous movies because they've already had their chance I'm just trying to get my own stuff out there right now so subscribe like comment do some funny stuff if you want and join the team you can send us some ideas whatever you want and I'm always open to suggestions if you want to do some interviews I got lots of time so why not just let's do it I'm still young I just had my birthday the other day so it's still early but now one thing about is how can you get a groove in your life what can make your life go farther straighter faster and more accurate well you want to make sure that you actually I don't know have a plan a plan is a great way to get a groove into your life if you want to be grooving and you want to go places and you want that bullet to fire farther faster straighter why not just get a plan because then you can actually have a direction because if you don't have a direction you're just going to be kind of going straight and, and that's kind of it again it's just like a football when you're firing that bullet out of there they've kind of perfected the bullet over the years from just that little circle ball that kind of came out of there in the old musket days to now a pointed it's got like a cone basically a conical end or whatever and when it fires out it, it spins like a football 
And that's a pretty important thing is because that spin, it allows it to go farther and straighter as well, which is part of the, the actual rifling inside there. It's basically just part of that groove that it spins the bullet, makes it go farther, straighter, faster, but it also gets that bullet spinning, which is just like a football. Because when you throw a football, you don't want it to spin end over end because it's not going to be more accurate. But when you watch a good quarterback, they always throw with that perfect spiral where it comes out of there and it just kind of zooms and it hits the target just perfect because that's what it is. So if you want to kind of learn about spiraling, the perfect place to check is a quarterback in the NFL or I don't know, you can do a whole lot of different checking on spiraling. I don't it's up to you there's the internet and go search it's awesome but that's uh that's a different story i don't want to get back on the spiraling but but another thing you could do to get your groove back is you could set some goals you want to make sure you're having lots of goals in your life because a plan without any goals is not really going anywhere it's just a hey i'm gonna get up and do stuff every day which is good and you want to do that you want to go work and you want to have a job and you want to make some money and you want to get ahead but you also want to make sure that you're planning and you're setting those goals of where you're going with that plan because if you don't have any goals and you're just setting plans it's tough you might just kind of wander aimlessly around for a while and you're not going to get very far so why not set some goals and that's kind of it basically especially with goals plans then you're going to have somewhere to go you're having a direction you're going to have a place to spiral right in there because i'll always remember in high school i did discus and one of the discus coaches he kind of had this uh he was a discus thrower i guess back in his olden days too and it was pretty funny because he went to go give us a demonstration on the the first day when we were learning discus because i never did discus nobody it's like an ancient roman thing or whatever and nobody does that anymore but it's still an olympic sport and it was a cool thing to do in high school but discus it was awesome because it like it, if you hit that it's just like a frisbee and you could hit the wind and it just kind of coast along and you could set some really good records by coasting along there with your discus and but the problem with that was is if you had it spinning end over end without that proper spin on there the groove or whatever it's not going to go very far it's just going to catch the wind and fall right to the ground but just like a frisbee if you get it up in the air and it's actually coasting down you can get a lot more air on that discus and that's all kind of part of it is having that spin on it having the proper i don't know just the proper techniques and stuff and, but the coach the first day he went to go show us how to do it and he threw it and it was doing the end over end spin and one of the guys yells out really loud he still got it so uh he, obviously he did still have it and he was doing pretty well but it was pretty funny though you had to kind of be there but uh now it's not as funny as it was then but when it was spinning he still had it so that was pretty cool but all i wanted to really talk about today was getting your groove back and how to keep a groove on your spiral so make sure that you're actually trying some days and setting that plan setting that goal because that's going to get you that groove it's going to allow you to fire farther it's going to allow you to fire faster it's going to allow you to be more accurate and it's going to allow you just to kind of accomplish more things in your life so why not it doesn't hurt anything so for tool show i'm master dan the journeyman shooter get out there find a groove and roll with it i guess